And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12 and TV 97's coverage of Belmont basketball. We're live at the home of the Blue Devils. We're in Boonville, Mississippi. We got Lady Cardinal and Lady Blue Devil basketball, followed by the Cardinals and the Blue Devils. Two big games on tap for you this evening on WRMG. We're excited about the Ivy Broadcasting Company being on the road three places tonight. We've got a crew at Tishomingo County High School. They're doing Tish County and North Pontotoc. We have another crew on location, and uh, they are in uh, Haleville, Alabama this evening. And they're, of course, covering the Red Bay Tigers and the Haleville Lions. If you're after joining us on a broadcast right here on your hometown station, uh, you're going to be able to listen to the Belmont and uh, Ball, uh, Boonville game. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank all of our great sponsors making the game possible. We are going to try to do the game on Facebook Live this evening, but the internet is not that good, so we don't know exactly if, if that's going to work out this evening or not, but we are going to try. If you're out there joining us on the broadcast, make sure that you tell your friends uh, that uh, the game will be on Facebook Live, but we could have some issues with that, so if you can't, uh, just enjoy the game. Uh, listening to it right here on WRMG Radio. We got Denisa back at Control Center. She's really, really extra busy tonight uh, and with three games going. And if you're out there joining us, uh, we appreciate you. Denisa said we're sounding good back at Control Center this evening. We have a few folks are beginning to get online. We finally connected to our Facebook. And uh, <clears throat> if you're out there joining us on our broadcast, appreciate you being with us here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. You folks that are watching on Facebook, uh, when I mentioned this earlier, uh, folks were just beginning to get on. Our internet is not that good in here. And where you have to set up in the Boonville Gym, you're up in the corner, so you don't have the best advantage, I guess, for uh, your video from Facebook. But hopefully, you, by being able to watch and also listening to our broadcast, uh, you'll be able to keep up with what's going on. And it'll be better than just listening on the radio. But uh, we will tell you that the video, um, we wish it would be better, but uh, it's all based on internet. And if the internet's not good, uh, your video is not going to be good as far as uh, Facebook Live. Uh, Warner Sandwich, we appreciate Big Star of Belmont. Thank you so much, Sammy Hale. We got Dickie Spark CPA on our broadcast tonight. We got Williams Pest Control Insulation Service, Mr. Jeff Green. We got Overdrive Auto Parts, Gavin Cromines. We have got Econo Storage, Brother Haskell Sparks, Belmont and Tishomingo, Josh McNatt, your circuit clerk. Stone's Jewelry, Ripley Tubelo, Belmont Mayor and Council Alderman, Belmont Restaurant, Wallace and Glenda Williams, Northeast Mississippi Community College on a broadcast tonight, Mike Harris, Farm Bureau, Fourth Street Grilling Steakhouse in Red Bay, Gina McNatch, your tax collector, Man Oil Change, Daniel Mann and Golden, David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor, MTS, your custom sign, detail, and banner headquarters on Highway 25 South in Belmont. We've got to explore liquidation. Their big auction is Saturday night in uh, Fulton. That'll be across from the Center of Funeral Home. It starts at 5 o'clock. I also want to thank Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end, Gatlin's Pharmacy, Stanley Page, and the staff in Tishomingo. By Triston Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser in Red Bay and Belmont. By Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling. Also, D and D Equipment on our broadcast show tonight. They uh, rent small construction equipment and hand tools, 423-8283. They're in Iuka at County Road 169. Also, Daniel Sparks, your brand new state senator. Redmond Heating and Cooling with Pantry Brooks, the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. By Redbud Supply, that's Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne. Also, Mac Guam in your Tishomingo County corner on our broadcast. Community Spirit Bank, Mike Montgomery. Deaton Funeral Home of Red Band Belmont. Peyton Cummings, your Chantry Clerk. By Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. They got the new wind chimes that are so beautiful and they sound mighty, mighty good. Wildflowers, Valentine, February 14th. Uh, you can call Wildflowers. Make sure you order that sweetheart a gift from Wildflowers. All types of beautiful flowers and gifts available from Missy and Dustin Brandon. 454-1033. Also, big shout out tonight to Belmont Pharmacy. That's, of course, Bill and Donna Weatherford. Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum by Med Express of Red Bay, the brand new nurse practitioners, Miss Wendy Orr. We also want to thank Tiffin Motorhomes, featured Electro on our broadcast. Ronald Thorne is also your state farm agent on our broadcast here today 
on WRMG. I'm Jack Ivey, live for the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We appreciate you folks that are getting online. Remember, uh, <clears throat> we'd love to have uh, as many as possible here this evening. So if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, uh, thank you for being out there and make sure you share this link uh, so your friends can enjoy Belmont and Boonville basketball. You're watching the Cardinals back uh, warming up there. We're about ready to get this and underway. We'll have the starting lines coming up in a minute. Today's game brought to you by Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks, Milligan Ready Mix, and Iuka, Triple D's Bucket Service, Donnie Bell, your state representative, by Hometown Pizza in Belmont, the Red Bay Hospital, H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay Fulton, Sunshine Mills, Grace Long Real Estate, Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Iuka, Red Bay, Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent, and by Sid's Trading Company. All these folks make Cardinal basketball possible here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. We're about ready to have the starting lineup, but I think we're going to have the national anthem before that. A big special shout out to Denisa back at Control Center tonight here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We'll turn it over to our public address announcer at this time. the national anthem before this game this evening. <clears throat> Starting lineups, first of all, for the Belmont Cardinals. Again, Jack Ivey live with Randall Lindsay. We're in Boonville, Mississippi, and here's the starting lineups. <clears throat> Now the starting lineups for Boonville. the lights down and got the starting lineups. We're ready for exciting basketball action live here tonight on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Once again, a special thanks to Big Star Belmont, Mr. Sammy Hill and the staff, Sparks CPA, Dickie Sparks, six locations, Williams Pest Control Insulation Service, Mr. Jeff Green, and also Gavin Cromines and all the folks at Overdrive Auto Parts down in Dennis, Mississippi. We didn't get a chance to mark those. They had the lights turned down, so we're trying to uh, see the young ladies' numbers down there. Eckford will be jumping against Cassie Grimes. 
Birthday girl for Belmont, uh, Mary Grace Strollman, celebrating her 15th birthday today. And she's got the basketball right now. Goes to Grimes, who has it stripped away. And ball stolen away by the Boonville Blue Devils. They'll push it up the court. No score, just in time here. If you just joined us for Cardinal and uh, Lady Blue Devils basketball. Special thanks to all the folks here at Boonville being nice to us as always. And uh, we appreciate the great hospitality here in Boonville. Cardinals get a steal. Mary Grace Stormont got it. Now the ball knocked out of bounds. And I believe Belmont will still have the basketball. I see uh, Shaley King, Mary Houston Ivy, Aika, Ikea Eckford, and also Carly Carpenter, three of the starters for Boonville. Belmont bringing it down. And driving that ball down is Macy Walker for the layup. It's up and good right down the middle of the lane. Good job, Macy, to start this game off, get her off to a good start. Belmont up 2 nothing. Here comes the ball club from Boonville with the basketball. Cardinals almost got a steal there. And now they walk with the basketball. The Blue Devils do. That uh, turnover is charged to uh, number 33, Carly Carpenter. And Belmont to play at side court, leading two to nothing. Jack Ivey, Randall, Lindsay live on WRMG, TV 12 and TV 97. Macy Walker on that same play, this time kicks it out. Cardinals kick it out, three-point shot. This time it's Kirkendall, it's up and good. Abby Kirkendall knocking down the three. Five to nothing the score. Live coverage here on WRMG. We're live in Boonville. Home of the Blue Devils. Belmont has jumped out to a 5 nothing lead, a three-pointer there by Kirkendall, and a steal by Lydia Lyle. She's been under the weather a little bit. Don't know how much uh, she's going to be able to go tonight, but uh, seems to be okay right now. Cardinal shot up no good. Rebound goes to Booval, and Booval will bring it down and set it up. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company is Booval trying to get that ball across the timeline. They do. Mary Houston Ivy wears number three with the basketball, and she is uh, going to be tied up or foul. It's going to be a jump and the error pointing in favor of Booval. Another starter out there is Hannah Davis uh, starting for the ball club. Hannah wears number 10 and the Cardinals knock it out of bounds. Good hustle there by Macy Walker. Big shout out tonight to the Belmont Restaurant, Wallace and Glenda Williams, local folks serving those great hometown meals. Downtown Belmont on the square. Tuesday through Friday and also after church on Sunday. And it starts at 11 o'clock. They got the buffet from 11 to 2. You can order off the menu on Friday and Saturday nights, 4 to 9. Great food all the time at the Belmont Restaurant. Lydia Lyles, three on the left wing. It's up. It's no good. Rebound, putting that ball back in is Cassie Grimes. And the Cardinals off to a good start, leading 7 to nothing over the ball club from Boonville. We're live tonight all over the place. Boonville, number 10, Davis has the ball knocked out of bounds. Coach Chris Hickenbottom coaching for the Cardinals. Coach Michael Smith coaching uh, for the Boonville Blue Devils. Seven to nothing is the score, and Boonville will take that ball in. Carpenter down in the corner, dribbles it back out. Now coming to the left side to number 12. She's on the left wing, back to the top of the key. Right side there to King. Ivy trying to free her up, self up, goes out in the corner. Now the ball on the left wing to Eckford. Down to the corner to Carpenter. She'll dribble a little bit, comes right back to Davis. Davis back to Eckford. She'll dribble it to the top of the key. Now go right side, down to the baseline, and right back to uh, Shaley King. Belmont leading 7 to nothing. 5-0-1 to go first quarter. Live here tonight, brought to you by Econo Storage, Brother Haskell Sparks, down in Belmont and Tishomingo. 4-2-3, 8-7-6-7. Down in the corner, number 30. Actually, number 12, Eckford. And Cassie Grimes is going to be charged with a foul for the Cardinals. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here in uh, Boonville. I will tell you this. You probably can tell it. The internet not that good here tonight, so that means your video won't be as good. Or on the inbounds, nobody on number 12. They threw it into her, and she's standing there wide open. So somebody... Lost their man for the Cardinals on the inbound, and Boonville gets a nice, easy play. Kirkendall down to Mary Grace Storm at birthday girl driving in, lays it up. It's no good. She's foul. Mary Houston Ivy is going to be charged with a foul, and yes, that is a relative of mine, Randall. 
She's some of the good Ivies right there. Cardinals will take it in as that foul is on the floor. On the inbounds play, three-point shot, no good. By Walker, the rebound, and by Cassidy Grimes, she gave it to Walker, and Walker tried it again, no good. This time, Boonville's got it. Boonville pushing it up the court. Ivy on the right side will not be able to take the shot. Number 12, Eckford over here on the left wing open, but the Cardinals get a steal. Coming up with it is going to be uh, Lyles for the Cardinals. Grimes on the right wing, back out top of the key. Good move there by Walker. She'll kick it back. That leaves Kirkendall open for the three. It's up and good. Belmont leads 10 to 2. Kirkendall's got six for the Cardinals. And Belmont on top by a score of 10 to 2. Jack Ivy, Randall Lindsay live in Boonville tonight. Got the boys game coming up after this one. Ivy with the basketball. Looks for help. Comes over to the left side. The long shot is up and no good by King. Cardinals with the rebound. There's Macy Walker. Walker pushing it up the court, being guarded and bumped pretty good by Eckford there. She'll go left side on the left wing to Kirkendall, who'll dribble it out and reset it up. She's in the paint at midcourt. Goes right side to Walker. Walker cross court to Mary Grace Stormont. Down in the corner is Lyles. Lyles back to Mary Grace to the top of the key. Lyles get it back. Looking inside for Grimes, and they do go to the Grimes there. Grimes turns, puts it up. She's foul by Carly Carpenter. Thanks for joining us here tonight on WRMG. We appreciate you watching out there to good. Old Royce Hopkins watching us down in Dennis, Mississippi tonight. Said we're sounding good. Do me a favor if you're watching on Facebook and uh, share it so your friends can watch it. Remember, there's a link on my Facebook page. If you go there and just scroll down, you'll see you can click and just listen to the game. So if your video is not that good and you just want to listen, we got it where you can listen to it. Substitution checking in for the Blue Devils. Number 35, Jaden Lindsay will check into the ball game. Checked in, I believe, for Carly Carpenter. And that free throw is good by Cassie Grimes. She'll have another one. Belmont leads 11 to 2. And this one is up. It is good. Lydia Lyles has checked out of the ball game. I told you she was, had been a little under the weather. Uh, Coger has checked into the game. Kalia for the Cardinals. Right side pass almost too high over there for Eckford, but she's able to get it down. Left side over here, King. King back out top of the key to Davis. Davis pulls up a dribble, comes back to King on the left wing. She's being guarded really closely there by Macy Walker. Davis goes around Coger, puts it up off the glass. Good. Good job of Hannah Davis to get that basket. That'll make it Belmont 12. The Boonville Blue Devils are four. 12 to four is our score. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live in Boonville. Belmont eight point lead here early in the first quarter with 2.21 to go. Thank you, Stones Jewelry down in Ripley and Chippewa and the long shot by the Cardinals. And a foul. And guess what? It is a three pointer for Mary Grace Stormont and a foul on top of that. And she'll shoot the free throw, it's up and good. Is that what you call a four point play, Randall? Belmont 16 to 11. Mary Grace Dormant, 15 years old today, this freshman for the Cardinals. Her dad said she needs to get at least 15 since it's her birthday, 15. I said, we'd settle for 15. 16 to four. Trying to go to the middle there, and the ball stolen away. Cassie Grimes got it. They tried to go to Jaden Lindsay and some traffic there. Minute 53 to go. And a walk there against uh, the Belmont Cardinals, Cassie Grimes. Jack Ivey live here for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. There's old Stan Malone trying to watch us on Facebook tonight. I know the picture is a little bit far away on that other end, but that's all the way we can make it work here at Boonville. Joe Criddle with us. Thank you, Joe. Leave us a little comment and let us know where you're watching tonight if you're watching on Facebook. Belmont leads 16 to four. Boone will have a little trouble getting that ball across the timeline. They finally get it to King. Back to Davis. Davis is gonna be fouled and she makes the three point shot. And she's gonna to try to make a four point play herself.
That foul against Mary Grace Stormont. That free throw is good by Davis. And that'll be Mary Grace's first foul. That'll make it 16 to eight. Belmont had one of them four point trips just a minute ago. Mary Grace Stormont drives down by Ivy there, puts a shot up no good. And there's gonna be a foul against the Cardinals coming over the back. They're gonna get Kalia Coger with that one. That'll be her first foul. Third team foul against the Cardinals. Coger's got one, Grimes has got one, and Stormont's got one. 16 to eight the score, Belmont on top. Taking that ball inside to Lindsay. Lindsay kicks that ball back out to King. King looking for help, goes to Davis. Davis loses the ball and it's gonna be an over and back. So Belmont will play it in front of the scorer's table over across the way. Mary Grace Stormont will do the inbounding to Kirkendall. Today's game brought to you by the Belmont Mayor and Alderman in Belmont, along with Josh McNatch, your circuit clerk. Long shot, three-pointer in and out, no good by Stormont. Rebound inside for Grimes, and Pushy puts it back up good. Cassie's got six points of the game for the Cardinals and under 45 seconds now, 18 to eight Belmont, leading over the Booville Blue Devils. Move along the left side, Davis, or King rather. King's got it on the left wing, dribbles it back a little bit, picked up there, brings it to Davis in the corner. Davis has had the hot hand here tonight. Back to Mary Houston Ivy, back to Davis. Davis fakes, goes around, puts it up. This time Walker in to block it at the 21 second mark. Live coverage here on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Thank you folks that are sharing this link. I uh, hope you're enjoying Cardinal basketball tonight. Ivy with the basketball back to the top of the key to Davis. Back over to Ivy down in the corner. Shot is up and it's no good. That one was missed by King. Here comes uh, Macy Walker down with seven seconds. Top of the key left side. Mary Grace goes around. Everybody puts it up. It's no good. Rebound Booville. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Belmont leads 18 to 8. Belmont leads 18 to 8. And this is girl action here on WRMG. Brought to you by great sponsors, including Northeast Mississippi move, move, uh, Community College, moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health fitness initiative, with the Honors College, and also a student success center with a workforce training with a commitment to excellence in athletics and a four-day instructional week featuring online short-term hybrid classes, all at affordable prices. Take your next steps with the Northeast, 1-800-555-2154 or visit nemcc.edu. Also, Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent on our broadcast tonight. Call Mike, 454-9624. Helping you is what we do best. I can assure you, Mike Harris is your Farm Bureau agent for Tishomingo County. Mike, we appreciate you very, 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 very much. Belmont in Boonville tonight, brought to you by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Lori and Brent Collum over in Red Bay, Alabama. Also on a broadcast here tonight is Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector by Daniel Mann at Mann Oil Change on a broadcast. David Wayne Crum, your tax assessor on a broadcast. MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, high visibility vest, t-shirt, safety glasses, earplugs, and much more. 1-800-647-8168, and yes, they do have a showroom in Belmont. Belmont with the basketball, Lyles back into the ball game, Mary Grace Stormont, Kirkendall, the original five that was in there, now down to Macy Walker, Walker drives in. She is gonna be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here on WRMG. There's uh, Adam and Rachel Kay out there with us. Uh, we got, uh, Kenny Paul Gino with us, Barbara Harris, Sandra Skinner, we got Donna Gino with us. And the shot is up. It is good by Macy Walker. And this free throw is up is good by Macy. Twenty to eight, the score. Seven minutes and thirty-seven seconds to go. Second quarter. Belmont defense 
playing pretty good. Mary Houston Ivy with the ball near the center court, comes left side to King. Now down low, the Cardinals knock it out of bounds. Big shout out to Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the South End on a broadcast. Louisville will take it in. Davis back over to the left side to King, back to the top of the key. Now comes back left again down in the corner to Akia Eckford. She's on the left wing. Back out to Ivy near midcourt. Ivy being guarded there by Kirkendall. Ivy gets loose and the ball knocked out of bounds and Bouville will still have it. We apologize, we lost our signal there on Facebook for a little bit. The internet is not that good as I told you in here. But uh, hope you enjoy our broadcast here tonight anyway. Belmont leads 20 to eight. While you were away, I think you probably missed a couple of free throws by Macy Walker. Now Belmont's gonna get it back. Belmont at the top of the key to the birthday girl, Mary Grace Stormont. To the right side, Kirkendall back to Mary Grace. Mary Grace shoots the long three. It's in and out, no good. Rebound, Mary Houston Ivy's got it. And they're coming this direction. Driving, putting it up, it's no good. Rebound, scramble for it. Macy Walker's got it. Macy pushing it up the court. Off to Grimes and the ball knocked out of bounds. Belmont will still have it. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here. Denise is back at Control Center. Three-point shot in the corner. The setup for Macy Walker. It's up no good. Grimes with a rebound and the putback good. Cassie Grimes got two, four, six, eight points in the ball game. Belmont leads 22 to eight, 22 to eight. King on the pass to Ivey, stolen away. Cardinals have got it. Mary Grace driving down, not Mary Grace, but uh, Macy Walker driving around and putting it up good. She's got a half a dozen. And Belmont leads 24 to eight. And now Macy Walker's got another steal for the Cardinals. She'll go for another layup and she missed it. Got her rebound and put it back in good. Kind of worried about the defender then and uh, tried to shield herself a little bit, but she got the basket finally to make it 26 to eight. Belmont on top of the Boonville Blue Devils here on WRMG. Belmont basketball is a production of Ivy Broadcasting Company brought to you by the great folks down at Gatlin's Pharmacy in Tishomingo. We got a whistle. And the Cardinals trying to tie it up is going to be charged with a foul. They're going to get, I believe, Lydia Lyles with that one. Fourth team foul for the Cardinals. And that'll be Lydia's second foul. Davis takes the inbounds pass for the Blue Devils. Over to the left side here is Eckford with the basketball. Eckford looks for help. Comes back to King on the left wing. Ball movement to the right side. Davis driving in traffic. Loses control of the basketball. Stolen away by Macy Walker. Guess who's wide open? Mary Grace Stormont. Oh, she missed the layup, but guess who's there to put it back? And she missed it. Just like it was playing toss from one side of the basket to the other between Mary Grace and Cassie Grimes. So the Cardinals missed a great opportunity there to get an easy basket. Now the Cardinals have got another steal. Somebody got a hand on it. Lydia Lyles takes the steal and she goes for the layup. She's foul and will go to the line to shoot. The free throw is up good. Lydia Lyles, she makes them both. Belmont 28-8, a 20-point lead with 4.45 to go in the second quarter. We'll be live right back here in the same location tomorrow for the Robertson Sportswear Classic. It starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, we'll be doing Tishomingo County around 6.30 or so, 7 o'clock, and then we'll be doing Belmont around the 9, 9.30 mark, probably going to be 9.30. There's games, so uh, they got them scheduled like 
hour and 15 minute game, so I don't know how they're going to stay on time, but we're hoping they will figure out a way to be on time. So, uh, Tish County playing at what, six, seven o'clock? And then Kosuth plays at uh, after that, then Belmont plays after that. We're going to do the Tish County game, and also we're going to do the uh, Belmont game. As of right now, you'll be able to listen to that game on uh, WRMGRadio.com. We'll have the Belmont game on the Belmont link and the Red Bay, uh, not Red Bay, but uh, Tish County on the Tish County link. And we're going to try to Facebook Live it for you tomorrow, but the internet, uh, not that good, but we'll try. Free throws are good on this end of the floor as the Cardinals just committed their fifth foul. Lead 28 to 10. Kalia Koger back into the ball game for the Cardinals as Grimes has checked out. Macy Walker, the long three, it's up, it's no good. Rebound, Mary Grace Stormont kicking it back to Kirkendall. She thought about it, now goes back to Mary Grace. Mary Grace has her shot blocked. Mary Grace got it back again and put it up and makes it. Mary Grace has got three, five, six points of the game. Belmont leads by 20, 30 to 20 over Boomer. If the Facebook Live broadcast don't look good to suit you, it's internet issues on the end here at Boomville. So, but we're trying to get it to you. We've got a lot of folks watching anyway. And we hope you're enjoying our broadcast here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. That foul against the Cardinals, Lydia Lyles. Is that right? Shot is up. It is no good. Belmont's got a rebound. Macy Walker's got it. Down to Lyles. Lyles shoots the three. It's up and good. The three or not? They give her a two instead of a three. Her foot was on the line. 32 to 10 as Lydia Lyles makes the nice basket. Boovel back with the basketball. They get number four, Arlena Rogers, into the ball game. She's on the left wing. She'll shoot the long shot up and no good. Macy Walker with a rebound. Walker, long throw down the court to Mary Grace. Mary Grace stops, puts it up. It's no good. She's fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Like I say, it's an honor to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG. Mary uh, Grace Stormont's free throw is up. It is no good. She'll have another coming. She's a five foot eight freshman. And this free throw is up and good. Belmont leads 33 to 10. Hopefully we're still sounding good back at control center. Ivy with the ball on the left wing. No, it's not Ivy. That's a uh, number four, Rogers. Back over on the other side, 33, back into the ball game is Carpenter, back over to Rogers. Back out to number 10. And the shot is up, no good for Rogers. Belmont had it and lost it, and then I believe we're gonna get a foul against the ball club from Boovel. Belmont leads 33 to 10. And Belmont will go to the line with Macy Walker, that foul against uh, number 10. And that is Hannah Davis picking up her second foul. So Belmont will shoot one and one, leading 33 to 10 with 2.33 to go. Macy Walker's free throw is up good. Macy will have another one coming. Macy's got two, four, six, eight, nine in the game. She can go to double figures. Lydia Lyles checking out of the ball game. Hughes checking into the ball game for Belmont. This free throw by Mary Grace is up and good. She's now got 10. 35 to 10. Taking it down low in Boonville. Loses that ball out of bounds. Off the hands of number 35, Jaden Lindsay. Lindsay, a freshman on this ball club from Boomer. Coach Michael Smith trying to rebuild a little bit here in Boomer after having some really, really great teams for a long time. We're down to 219 to go in the second quarter. Cheyenne Hughes with the ball. High post to Coger. Coger lobs that ball in to Macy. Macy shot no good. Rebound Boomer. And Boomer will bring it down. 
Belmont basketball tonight brought to you by Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling by Tristead Insurance, Kim and Calum Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Persia, D&D Equipment over in Iuka. They rent uh, a lot of small construction stuff and hand tools at 423-8283. Cardinals way down the court. Mary Grace Stormont from the layup. It's up as good, and Mary Grace is foul. Mary Grace has got three, four, six, eight, nine points in the ball game, and Randall, she can go to double figures right here. Today's game brought to you by Daniel Sparks, your brand new state senator by Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association, Redbud Supply, and also Mac Wildman, your Tishomingo County corner. That free throw is no good, but Belmont got a rebound. Macy Walker will shoot a three right side, and she finally hits a three. She hadn't been able to hit a three, and now she's got 13 points. That's her first three in the ballgame, and Belmont leading 40 to 10 over the Booneville Blue Devils. Booneville with the basketball now. The Cardinals come up with another steal. Kirkendall's got it. Kirkendall down the court. Mary Gray Stormont. Kirkendall thought about it. Macy Walker now back to Kirkendall. Kirkendall's pass too high, stolen away. Davis has got it, and Davis will go for a layup. It's up and good. Good job of Hannah Davis after the Cardinal turnover. It's now 40 to 12. Do me a favor, stay with us. We got the boys game coming up after this one. If you leave us at halftime for a little bit, make sure you come back and join us for more Cardinal basketball. Macy Walker in the turn, spin, and up and no good, and she's fouled. So the Cardinals will go to the line. I want to say hello to Miss Sylvia Lyles out there tonight. And uh, also on the broadcast, Stan Malone, Joe Criddle, Donna Gino. We got Jacob Barnett, Wayne Holiday with us, Carol Reynolds. Remember, leave us a little message uh, if you're watching. Cheryl Butler out there with us, Paisley Morris, Terry Butler, Brian Burge with us, Melinda Quad, uh, Janice Pearson watching as well as the Cardinals make it 42 to 12 with the free throws with Macy Walker. Moving with the basketball, 31 seconds to go second quarter. Thank you, Community Spirit Bank in Belmont, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Band Belmont, Peyton Cummings, your Chancery Clerk, and your Valentine headquarters in Belmont is Wildflowers with Missy and Dustin Brandon. Wildflowers, don't forget February 14th, big day. Make sure you get your order in. Missy does a wonderful job for any occasion. She blows it up big time for Valentine's Day. Five seconds to go. Belmont, Tanner Brock into the ball game, gets a steal. Will Hannah have a chance to get it off? She does, but she missed it. Good try, Hannah Brock. And the Cardinals will go to the dressing room. Leading 42 to 12. 42 to 12, Belmont scored, let's see, 18, 24 points, Randall, in that second quarter, and Booville scored four, and right now the score is 42 for Belmont, 12 for the Booville Blue Devils. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12, and I think uh, Booville uh, Pom Pom Squad's gonna do something. I wish I could leave the audio up, but I can tell you what's gonna happen. If I leave the audio up, they're gonna block our video, so, uh, we'll save it for you. You'll be able to watch it on YouTube, but on your Facebook, we're going to have to cut our audio down. I guess we can talk and let you watch. Thank you, Wildflowers. Once again, that number in Belmont, 454-1033. Thank you, Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum, Tiffin Motorhomes, Med Express of Red Bay with Wendy Orr, the brand-new nurse practitioner. Also, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks by Milligan Ready Mix on our broadcast. Also, big shout out tonight to Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. Donnie Bell, your state representative for district number 21. Hometown Pizza in Belmont, open 11 to 8, located 7 Yarbor Street. Don't forget about the great salad bar. They got a new patio when it warms back up. They call it Belmont's Back Porch. Use our convenient drive through call ahead. We'll have it ready. Dine in or to carry out. Once again, that's Hometown Pizza in Belmont, that number 454 -0202. Also, the Red Bay Hospital, taking care of your friends and family close to home. Your home administrator there and Vice President Sherry Jolly, 356-9532. Don't forget about the Well Care Center, Chris Austin, 356-1160.
Also H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay Fulton by Sunshine Mills, Grace Long Real Estate by Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Iuka Red Bay. Runny Cook, your modern woman agent. You can call Runny in Belmont at 662-423-8477. Tonight's game is being brought to you by Runny Cook and Modern Woman of America to plan for your financial future. Learn more about member benefits. You need to get your know your Modern Woman representative. Call Runny Cook at 423-8477. Runny Cook, Modern Woodman. And also a big shout out tonight to Sitch Trading Company is an authorized dealer for landmark utility vehicles. You know, the Landmaster was designed with every need in mind. So if you don't want something uh, quite as heavy duty, they got a light duty one. They also got a medium and uh, they can get you way on up to the rugged terrain on the heavy duties with that LM700. That's suited for the heavy duty chores. Check them all out, test drive them right now at Sitch Trading Company in Iuka, 424-0025. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Your score is Belmont 42, Boonville 12 at halftime. 42 to 12 at halftime. We've got the boys game coming up after this one right here on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. We're going to check in with the Bates man. Um, uh, Haleville 14, Red Bay 11 at halftime. That game going on down in Haleville tonight. And... Uh, We're sending the score down to the Bates man in Boonville, or down in Haleville. We're going to take a break. This is Belmont and Boonville basketball on WRMG. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay back for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97, the Ivy Broadcasting Company, and we're about to start the third quarter. Belmont winning big, 42 to 12 over the Boonville Blue Devils. Welcome into our second half of action, brought to you by Big Star of Belmont. Good luck to the Cardinals, great customer service, always great specials each and every week from your hometown Big Star. They're open seven days a week, right there in Belmont, Mississippi. Tishomingo County girls leading at halftime 31 to 16 over North Pontotoc. Blake Long and Scott Webster on the call over there tonight. Davis with the ball on the right side. Goes back right side to King. Now Davis has got it back. She'll back it up near the circle. Goes back to King. Being guarded there by Storman. Comes left side. Number 10, Davis over there has her pocket picked and Macy Walker's got it. Macy's going to have to slow it up. Their defense got back in a hurry. Now they go down to Grimes. Grimes trying to drive that baseline and she's going to be bumped a couple of times by Eckford and going to be Foul there. You folks that are watching on Facebook, I know uh, the internet's uh, terrible in here tonight and we're doing our best to be able to send it to you so you can enjoy it a little bit. Three point shot, Macy Walker is up and good. How many points has Macy Walker got tonight? Three, six, eight, what about 18 points in the game? That's her second three pointer of the night. 45 to 12 is her score, and the Cardinals are going to get that ball back. 7.02 to go. Wouldn't surprise me if they let that clock run a bunch here in the second half. Kirkendall with the ball, back top of the key to Mary Grace Stormont to Macy. Macy shoots another three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound and the putback by Cassie Grimes is up as good. How many has Cassie got tonight, Jack Ivey? Two, four, six, eight. What about 10 points in the game for Cassie Grimes? Belmont 47 to 12. King over to number 33. That's Carpenter. Carpenter to Davis. Davis on that right wing dribbles back to the top of the key again. Now goes back right side to King. King dribbles it out. Over to Davis on left wing now. Belmont in control of this one. The score is 47 to 12 with 6.06 to go. And a basket by Houston Ivy there. Mary Houston makes it 47 to 14. There's Mary Grace Stormont shooting the three. It's up, it's no good. Rebound tipped around, out of bounds. And I believe 
Bouval will have the basketball. Here comes Kalia Kogren to the ball game. Lydia Lyles will check out. Told you Lydia a little under the weather tonight, so I didn't know how much uh, playing time she would actually uh, get tonight. Appreciate Williams Pest Control Insulation Service, Mr. Jeff Green. Don't forget for all your pest control and insulation needs, you can call Belmont 454-3383. And also big shout out tonight to Gavin Cromines at Overdrive Auto Parts. Specializing in lift kits, wheels, tires, accessories, and more. And you can reach them at 662-660-4505. Belmont 47, Boonville 14. Boys game coming up after this one. Boonville boys, pretty good team this year for the Boonville Blue Devils. Good ball movement there. And now the ball loose, and Boonville's going to run it down. Good job by Ivy to get back to keep that ball from going in the backcourt. It might have might have been tipped anyway, but uh, but Ivy did a good job hustling after that. Now the ball is going to be lost out of bounds. Last touch by Boonville. Another good defensive stand by the Cardinals with 4:51 to go. Clock is not running. They may may run that in the fourth quarter. Live coverage here in Boonville. Don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow covering Tishomingo County and Briarcrest out of Memphis. And there's Kirkendall's three in the corner. Up no good. Macy Walker got it. Macy kicks that ball right back out. Kirkendall will try one. It's up good. Her third three of the night. She's got uh, nine points. Belmont leads 50 to 14. So that game's at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. If it's on time, we'll have Tish County and Briarcrest. Then we'll have Belmont and Tupelo Christian Prep about 9.30. Belmont's got another steal. Mary Grace Stormont drives down, has it blocked. Behind her is trailing Cassie Grimes, getting her 12th point of the ball game. Good job, Cassie. Belmont 52 to 14. Hannah Brock getting ready to check into the ball game. Cheyenne Hughes getting ready to check in. Driving down to the baseline. Carpenter is cut off and she walks with the basketball. Here comes Brock and Hughes into the ball game for Belmont. Not sure who's coming out. Macy Walker checking out, and Kirkendall will check out. Productive night. Kirkendall with nine points. Macy Walker with 18. And here comes Mary Grace Stormont. If you didn't join us earlier, she's the one that's got the birthday today. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine points in the ball game. Hannah Brock. Into Macy, May, or not Macy, but Cassie Grimes, and she walks with the basketball. Big shout out tonight to Econo Storage, Brother Haskell Sparks, and Belmont and Tishomingo. For all your storage needs, give Brother Haskell a call. Also, big shout out tonight to your brand new circuit court clerk, Josh McNatt. Josh been having some schooling going on, learning some more about that new job, serving Tishomingo County as your next circuit clerk for the next four years. 52 to 14, Belmont on top. Thanks, Stones Jewelry. Joanne, Teresa, we appreciate you. Fifty-two fourteen, and we got a whistle and a foul against the Cardinals. Cheyenne Hughes is going to be charged with that foul. Three minutes and three seconds to go. Fifty-two to fifteen now. As Davis is shooting free throws, good. So Davis able to get the free throws to make it 52 to 16. Mary Grace Stormont bringing it down. She's got Hughes right side. She's got it right now. She'll lob it down to Coger. Coger turns, faces the basket, scores, and she's fouled. Good job by Kalia Coger. Kalia is a six foot sophomore for Belmont. Appreciate Belmont Mayor and Alderman. We got Craig Bell, Mike Harris, Sonny Harris, Brandon Farr, and Steve Ratliff. Buddy Wolcher, your mayor for Belmont. And that free throw by Coger is up and good. Big shout out tonight to Belmont Restaurant and of course the Belmont Cafe, long three-point shot. It's up and good. Number 33, Carly Carpenter got it. You know Wallace and Glenda Williams, hometown folks serving some good old homemade cooking. That's what makes it good at Belmont Restaurant. And they're open Tuesday through 
Friday from 11 to 2, and on Sunday 11 to 2 with their buffet lunch. And then on Friday and Saturday nights, Cardinals go in and score. Friday and Saturday nights are open 4 to 9. You can order off the menu. And, of course, when you order off that menu, by the way, the clock is running now. Uh, you can get that wonderful steak that you've been looking for. Of course, you get the chicken. You can get the fish. Uh, great, great menu from Belmont Cafe. Wallace and Glenda does a wonderful job. 662-479-5022. Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 2. Sunday, 11 to 2 is the buffet. Friday and Saturday nights, it's 4 to 9. Belmont's uh, Hannah Brock makes one out of two from the free throw line. Belmont leads 56 to 19 with a minute and 32. I just said that. Grimes. Free throw, no good. She'll have another one coming. This one is good, so she makes one out of two. And she'll check out of the ball game. So Cassie Grimes has got 13 points. She'll check out. Anna Karen Marino into the ball game for the Cardinals. Where's number 10? Also into the ball game for the Cardinals tonight is Sadie Hope, and the shot up and a foul by the Cardinals. Belmont leads 57 to 19. They must gonna be able to stop the clock inside a minute. They've got a running clock here the last little bit. Today's game brought to you by Northeast Mississippi Community College. Don't forget about the four day instructional week, short term hybrid classes, all at affordable cost online. 1-800-555-2154. Free throw good makes it 57 to 20. Hannah Brock at the high post right side to Hughes. Hughes lobbing it into Coke Coger. Kicks that ball back out. The ball knocked out of bounds. And it looks like the Cardinals will still have it. Appreciate 4-3 Grill and Steakhouse. Lori and Brent Collum over in Red Bay. Mike Harris your Farm Bureau agent for all of Tishomingo County. Holt takes it in, the three-point shot, it's up, it's no good. Boonville trying to run it down, but she's gonna be stepping out of bounds trying to run it down. Great hustle there by Mary Houston Ivy. I need to see my cousin over there, her grandfather. And we're gonna walk against the Cardinals and with five seconds to go, 57 to 20 is the score. 57 to 20, Belmont on top. And here comes Davis with the ball down the court. She's gonna have to shoot it in a hurry. Nope, she goes left side. And a long bank shot is no good but Carly Carpenter. And we have played three quarters. Belmont 15 points there in the third quarter, eight points for Boomville. Belmont leads 57 to 20, 57 to 20. This is live coverage here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Jack Ivy Randall Lindsay here. I want to say hello to Miss uh, G Janice uh, Pearson out there, Carol Reynolds, Judy Carroll with us tonight. Ryan Smith, I uh, told you about Allison Russell, Jason Hogue, uh, Doug Lyles with us, Teresa Crittle. Uh, we got who else? Uh, Rosa Young watching with us tonight. Gary Ivey, Michael Collins, just some of the folks out there. And like I told you, our internet is not that good in here tonight. And we apologize for that. Uh, nothing we can do. There's Larry Blackburn checking in. And Angie Howell with us tonight. You got the little Russell sick, Miss Allison. Hopefully she's better. We're going to start the fourth quarter. This one will probably go pretty quick if they let the clock run. Sadie Holt, that's the world famous uh, Brother Howell Holt's granddaughter. And almost a steal. It is a steal by Boomville. Cardinals going to steal it back thanks to Cheyenne Hughes. Jeff and Blair Holt's girl there, of course, is Sadie. There's Rocky. 
brother Odie is young in there, Cheyenne. You gotta say both the Hughes boys, Rocky and Odie, if you say the name, but that's actually Odie's daughter there, Miss Cheyenne. Belmont to have it, Sadie Hope will shoot the long three, right side, no good, and just like it's a pass to Anna Karen Marino, it's up and good. Good job by Marino to put that ball in. Belmont leads 59 to 27, 05 to go. Hannah Davis on the left wing. Number, is that number five into the game now? Shot is up, no good. Kicking it back out, top of the key. The long shot is up and no good. Rebound goes to the Cardinals. Here comes Cheyenne Hughes with it. Block from the free throw line, shoots it up, it's no good. Rebound Holt, the putback is up and no good again, and this time the rebound goes to Boone. Well, Hannah Davis pushing it up at the 626 mark. Appreciate you, David Wayne Crumb, your tax assessor for Tishmingo County, and Daniel Mann at Mann Oil Change down in Golden, MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, your high visibility vest, t shirt, safety glass headquarters on Highway 25 South in Belmont. Long three point shot. Carly Carpenter knocked down another one. She'll make it 59 to 23. 59 to 23. Don't forget to we'll be here tomorrow night. You may know. Hopefully you'll be here to support the Lady Cardinals. There's a shot by Marino, no good. Boonville knocks it out of bounds. But the Belmont game is not scheduled to start till 9.30 tomorrow night. The first game tomorrow morning starts at 9. We'll do the Tish County game at about 7. And then we'll do the Belmont game. There's Coger on the left elbow. Her shot is up, no good. Rebound, Boonville. Clock running, 5.28 to go. Long shot by Boonville up and no good. Boonville got the rebound. That's Mary Houston Ivy and it looks like it's gonna get out of bounds. Appreciate you Donald Ray Thomas on our broadcast here tonight. And also big shout out to the big auction going on Saturday night down in Fulton. That's uh, across from the center funeral home. It starts at five o'clock. You know all the crew from Explore Liquidation. They're gonna have of course Furniture, tools, mattresses, luggage, all types of household items. It's going to be definitely worth your time. And we got a foul away from the ball. They're going to get Hannah Brock with a foul. Actually, they gave it to uh, Coger. I thought they gave it to Hannah Brock. So they give it to Hannah Brock. Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo. They got a great staff there, don't they? Let's see if they can save you some money. Stanley Page, of course, the... Pharmacist down there, they got another pharmacist I met today. And yeah, they got a really, really great staff. Shot up Maboom, no good. Mary Houston Ivy shoots the long three, it's up no good. And now we're gonna have a jump, error pointing in favor of Booville. Clock is running with 4.05 to go, so about four minutes we'll be through with this one. Appreciate your hardened heating and cooling. Uh, Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, don't forget whether it be you're insuring your vehicle, your home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farm business, they got a policy that can be tailored just for you. Long shot, Boomel, three-pointers up good. And knocking that one down was number three, Mary Houston Ivy. That'll make it 59 to 26. Good ball movement by the Cardinals. Hughes to Brock. Marino back over to Sadie Hope. Over to Hughes. And to Coger. Coger puts it up good. She's fouled. Good job by Coger. Her fifth one of the ball game. Red Bay is knocked off Haleville. 43 to 24. That's what the Bates man said. Haleville led 14 to 11 and a half, so.
Had a Brock at the line shooting free throws for the Cardinals. Free throw up and no good. 62 now. Got to be a foul against the Cardinals. Driving it in, the ball out of bounds, but they're going to call a foul against the Cardinals. Appreciate Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York Heating and Cooling dealer, 356-8913. Also, D&D Equipment. You know, that's D&D Rentals of Iuka. They rent small construction equipment, wide variety of hand tools. Hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Located at 493 County Road 169 in Iuka, 423-8283 in It'll be a turnover against the Blue Devils. Belmont bringing some more subs into the ballgame. Number 15, Dakota Gasaway into the ballgame. 21. Uh, got Mackenzie Young into the ballgame. Also, number three, Maddie Enlow into the ball game. Boonville gets a steal. And for the layup, and the Cardinals get back and commit a foul. Also, Miss uh, Coach Anna Brooke Page, Anna Brooke Wooten, I should say under the weather tonight, so coach going solo over there tonight. So Miss Coach Anna Brook, if you're listening or watching back, we hope you get feeling better. Belmont leads 62-27. We got 51 seconds to go. Thank you, Tishomingo County Electric Power. Daniel Sparks, your state senator. Redbud Supply, also Mac Wyman, your Tishomingo County Corner. Community Spirit Bank, also Peyton Cummings, your chance for clerk. Deaton Funeral Home, as Belmont's got it, and I think Belmont's going to be foul with 34 seconds. They stop it on a foul like this. You know, Wildflowers reminds you, if you're planning a wedding, you need to see them for any uh, type of dream you might have. They can make them come true. Also, Wildflowers, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Uh, they can uh, take care of you and for your sweetheart. Uh, they got great gifts. Got all beautiful flowers, different different price ranges. They'll have the blooms and everything, all the other goodies. They also got some new wind chimes that are mighty nice. Check them out. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Sadie Holt makes the free throw. And I think she may have another one. Sadie comes back. Sadie will have another one coming with 34 seconds to go. 63 Belmont, 28 for the Bouville Blue Devils. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, hope the internet's holding up where you can kind of keep up with it a little bit. I want to say hello to Mr. Gary Poole after tonight, Stevie Harris. Stevie, that's called bad internet. Stevie Harris says bad blurry. That um, Gary's watching from uh, the Magnolia Hospital saying go big red. Gary, I hope you're feeling better. Brenda Elliott out there with us, Allison Russell. I was over checking out the feeder stuff. We're down to 17 seconds to go. Belmont's going to be at the line with number three, Maddie Enlow. Maddie will have another one coming. 65 to 28, Belmont. And in and out. Just kind of circle that old rim. Boonville loses it out of bounds. Belmont's going to get it back, leading 65. to 28. 
We're down to one second, and there's going to be your final score. Belmont 65, 28. Belmont is one. We got the boys game coming up in just a second here on WRMG. That's about 10 minutes away. We'll get our lineup situated for that. Once again, congratulations, Belmont. So we'll wait till the Belmont boys and Boomer boys come out. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. The JV from Boonville beat Belmont, but it was a close ball game. And I think they may have lost maybe a half a dozen points, but it was down to the last couple of points there late. Once again, we're live on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Belmont getting ready to come out on the other end. Boonville will be coming out on this end. And there comes your Belmont Cardinals on the court. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the start of this one in just a minute. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We've got the boys game coming up next here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Well, the reason we cut the sound down is copyright deal on Facebook and they'll mute us and we didn't want that to happen so we took a little break as well. We're going to send it down to courtside. We're going to have the starting lineups coming up next uh, for the Belmont Cardinals and the Louisville Blue Devils. Belmont ladies win tonight and win big 65 to 28. Congratulations to the Red Bay girls. They won tonight uh, over the ball club from Haleville, Alabama and I'll get you that score one more time. Let's see. Red Bay beat Haleville 43 to 24. 43 to 4. We're going courtside now with the starting lineups. About ready to get the boys game underway here on WRMG. And the tip is controlled by the Boomville Blue Devils. Driving that ball in, missing the shot. Pretty easy one there for Caleb Guy. Cardinals get the rebound, and here we go on the other way. Cardinals, Colin Williams, a long shot. He's up, it's no good. Rebound, Boomville, they'll push it up. Number 20 on the left wing there. Shot is up, it's no good. And he got the rebound. We've got a number wrong. We'll see if we can ask some of these young ladies here. Caleb Guy out there. We got uh, Brighton Smith driving that ball. Is Boonville heading for the layup? Number one is Trey McKinney. That is Dukes into the, had his number wrong. And Boonville has take a four to nothing lead. And 
That was Josh Dukes. That's who it is, number 20. We we'll apologize. Boonville's got a 4 0 lead. Belmont with the basketball. Kirkendall over to the left side. He'll get it right back. Him and number 22 for the Cardinals playing toss back. Garrett Thorne. Now to Williams, top of the key. Want to say hello to Gary Poo. Gary, we hope you're feeling better. There's a long three point shot by Kirkendall. No good. Brian got the rebound back to Kirkendall. Rooker thought about it. Now Karsten Bryan will shoot the three top of the key. It's up. No good. Rebound. Boonville's got it. And Boonville will push that ball up the court. They'll take it down low to Billy Johnson, and Johnson's shot is up good. Boonville leads six to nothing with six minutes to go. We've played a couple of minutes here of Cardinal basketball and the Boonville Blue Devils. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here. And the shot up by the Cardinals. Who got that one, Randall? The world famous Karsten Bryan got that big three. Appreciate it all. All of our great sponsors making the game possible. Girls win tonight, uh, win big, 65 to 28. Belmont has cut it to a 6-3 lead right here, and we're going to have a foul on Williams. Collins going to be charged with a foul. Six to three, the score. And the shot up by the Blue Devils is up good. Josh Duke's knocking down on the three to make it nine to three. We got 5 12 to go, first quarter. Live in Boomer. We'll be back here tomorrow night, 9 30 for the Belmont girls. It'll be about a seven o'clock start for Tish County girls. Tish County and Briarcrest play tomorrow. We'll have that game live on. Well, you can listen to it. We will try Facebook. I don't know where it's going to be any better than it is today. I doubt it. We're going to try it for you. Karsten Bryan with the ball out the top of the key. Rooker on the left side. Red Bay girls win tonight 43-24 to over Halo. And there's a layup by the Blue Devils. Brighton Smith got that one. That'll make it 11-3, Boomville. Move will coach Michael Smith's team. I'm assuming that Max Preps is right there, 14 and 5, 7 and 1 in the district. And who did I tell you they lost to in the district? Was it Amory? Inside the shot to Rooker, they're going to say the foul was on the floor. Going to the line will not take place. They said it was on the floor, so Belmont will have to take it in underneath their own basket. Thank you, Deaton Funeral Home, Community Spirit Bank, and Peyton Cummings, your Chancellor Clerk. Big shout out to Big Star Belmont. Of course, that is the world famous Sammy Hill and the staff. Also, big shout out to Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford. Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum, don't forget about the digital kiosk photo makers and great friendly service all the time. They're in Belmont, Bill and Donna. They are big time outstanding folks that own Belmont and also they own Red Bay Pharmacy as well. They've opened up over there. Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast tonight. Med Express got a brand new nurse practitioner and the basket is good by Kirkendall and he draws a foul. Good job, Avery. Avery will go to the line to try to complete a three point play. You know, Colin Williams is a junior. Avery Kirkendall a junior. Rooker's a junior. Karsten Bryan's a junior. Grayson Stone is the only senior uh, on this uh, Cardinal squad here. 11 to five is the score. As Kirkendall couldn't get the free throw to go, but uh, Belmont's back on defense. Belmont in red, Boonville in the white. Lobbing that ball into Johnson. Johnson turns, puts it up good. Billy Johnson with a basket. Cardinals get that ball across the timeline. Williams back to Karsten Bryan, Kirkendall to Williams. Kirkendall's on that right wing. Williams is down in the corner. Now back to the top of the key to down low. Back to Rooker on the left side, back to Kirkendall. He's got a three in the corner, it's up and good. Avery Kirkendall. Today's game brought to you by the great folks at Tiffin Motorhomes. 
Big shout out to Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. We got another foul against the Cardinals. Second team foul against the Cardinals, Colin Williams. Williams will have to check out of the ball game. Alec Hogan will check in. Don't forget about Milligan Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North in Iuka. Booville with the basketball. McKinney driving that baseline, and he is going to be fouled by Kirkendall. Third team foul for Belmont. Williams has got two. Kirkendall's got one. Number one doing the inbounds. Got it into Guy. Guy back over to number three, Brighton Smith. Smith working one-on-one -on -one with the Rooker. Stops, pulls up, jump shot off the glass. Good. Brighton Smith, the 5'11 senior, makes it Booval 15, Belmont 8, 15 to 8. Cardinals across the timeline. Grayson Stone with the basketball. He's the Stone's jewelry man, I'm telling you. He could probably quote a few of those commercials. He'd do a good one, Miss Joanne and Teresa. They take care of their customers, no doubt about it. Ripley and Chippewa have been doing it for many, many years. Alec Hogan kicks it back to Grayson. What about a Stone's three-point shot? It's up good. Grayson Stone with a Stone's jewelry three-point play. 15 to 11 is the score. Booville leads by four as the Cardinals have cut into that lick. Booville drive it in, shot up off the glass, no good. Rebound, Cardinals, Carston Bryan got it. And just barely kept from going in. Kirkendall left side to Grayson. Right side to Hogan, inside to Carston. Carson's open for the layup, it's up good. Great play set up there by the Cardinals. Bryan gets his fifth one of the ball game. Belmont has made it a 15 to 13 ball game. Long shot by Dukes, up and no good. Belmont rebounds. Kirkendall's got it. Kirkendall stops a little bit, goes to Rooker. Rooker to Bryan. Bryan kicks it out in the corner. Cardinals, good ball movement here to Rooker. Rooker dribbles it out. He's double teamed over to the corner now. Hogan's open for the three. It's up, in and out, no good. Rebound, guy's got it for Booville. He's a five foot eight junior for the ball club for Booville. Lobbing that ball into Johnson. They've been successful doing it. Johnson goes up and he is fouled. He'll make the basket. Seventeen to thirteen. Johnson completes the three point play. It's up and good. Five point lead, Baboonville. They lead 18 to 13. Karsten Bryan at the top of the key. Live coverage here on WRMG. Jack Ivy, Randall Lindsay here. Garrett Rooker thought about a three from NBA range on that left wing. He brought it back out to the top. He got it back. He'll penetrate it in a little bit. Goes to Karsten. Nope, not Karsten Bryan. Who is that? And the Cardinals walk. That's a. Uh, Kirkendall will check out of the ball game. Uh, River Ford into the ball game. He's the one that had just checked in. And also checking into the game for the Cardinals is uh, Cruz Neato Hill is into the game now. Belmont trailing by five, 22 seconds to go, and a pull up shot good by Brighton Smith. Belmont trails by seven, will bring it down. Cruz Neato Hill, number 13 with the basketball, looks for him. Hale's got it back, drives all the way in, puts it off the glass of the buzzer, and it's up and good. Good job, Cruz Neato Hill, got it. And 
the Cardinals make it a five-point ball game. We've played uh, one quarter. It's Boonville 20 and Belmont 15. Belmont girls win tonight. That final score was 65 to 28, 65 to 28. Red Bay girls win tonight. Uh, over the ball club from Haleville. I know Tish County was leading big over North Pontotoc. I, I never did get a final on that. I'm gonna go back and check to see if, uh, see if we've got that final yet. See if they've sent it to us. Can't guarantee it, but right now we lead here 20 to 15. And I do not have a final. Tish County was leading at half 31 to 16. Right now it's 20 to 15 at the end of the first quarter. Belmont will get the ball to start the second quarter. Kirkendall back into the ball game. Grayson Stone back in. Got Rooker back in there. Got uh, Collins into the ball game and looked like Alec Hogan to start the second quarter. Cross court pass knocked away by Boonville and out of bounds. Belmont will still have it. Appreciate Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. Don't forget now, Ronald is now your State Farm agent in Tishomingo and Attawama County as well. He can write insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office. So, Ronald Thorne, let him give you a quote on your insurance. Be somebody close by Belmont there that'll take care of you. Ronald's been doing this for many, many years. Stone with the basketball. Also, big shout out to Stone's Jewelry down in Ripley and Tupelo, a big sponsor. Shot no good. Cardinals got it back, and Boomville knocks it out of bounds. Appreciate Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. Also, Dunny Bell, your state representative, District 21. Also, big shout out to Hometown Pizza in Belmont, 454-0202. Rooker near the circle, goes right side to Hogan. Toji Collins is into the game for the Cardinals. That's Colby Collins. Three-pointer in the corner by the Cardinals is up and good. And that is a Grayson Stone three-pointer again. Stone's jewelry, three from Grayson. And the Cardinals, Collins has got a steal, but lets them steal it back. Now the ball picked up by Boonville. And Boonville right down the middle of the lane. They give it to 24. His backside shot good, and he's fouled. That's Max Chenault into the ball game. Six-foot-three sophomore. Kirkendall will check out of the ball game. Cruz and the 8 Hill will check in. Boonville leads Belmont 22 to 18. We'd cut it to a two point lead and let them get away there. And the free throw is up and good by Chenault. Belmont, another bad pass stolen away. Boonville's got it. Boonville for the layup, it's no good. The Boonville. Tip back in is good. By number 11 in the ball game is Shumpert got that one. It's now 25 to 18, so they've scored five straight points. Collins, Rooker, the three-pointer for the Cardinals. We need it, it won't go. Rebound goes to Boomville, and now we're gonna have a whistle and a foul. Appreciate H&R Block of Iuka Red Bay Fulton, your tax professionals, and also a big shout out to Sunshine Mills and the Red Bay Hospital on the broadcast as we are live tonight in Boonville. 25 to 18, 617 to go. Long shot, three pointer up and good. And Brighton Smith, he's filled it up tonight. Nine points unofficially for him. Cardinals near Hill, shot up, going the layup is good. Good penetration by Hale, and he makes it 28 to 20. We needed a basket in a hurry, and we got one by Hill. As we'd let them score about eight straight points or so, maybe 10. 
And another easy basket. By Boonville again, they're up by 10. McKinney with the basket. Collins. And the pass from Belmont's number 31, Grayson Stone, is picked off. Stolen away by Boonville. Belmont miscues and some move on nice shots and putbacks. And another three there from Caleb Guy. We've went from being down two to being down 12, just like that. I think it was like 20 to 18. And now it's 32 to 20, 32 to 20. Live coverage here on WRMG. Tishomingo County girls, 58. 25 for North Pontotoc at game just ending. Right here it's 32 to 20 Boonville. So Belmont with the basketball down to Hale, and Hale's got another layup, his sixth point of the ball game. Good job by Rooker to get the pass to him as Hale cut toward the basket. Hale knows how to finish. Oh, man, we lost our man right there. And their number 20, Mr. Dukes, got another basket to make it 34 to 22. Just got to make some stops. Hogan to Rooker, now to the right side, back to Kirkendall. Belmont a primary guard team, not very much size. And Hogan will shoot the three, so it's up and no good. Rebound, Boonville's got it. Boonville pushing it up the court. They lead by 12, 34-22. Boonville, a little spin, now he'll kick it back out. That's Brighton Smith. Brighton's already had a good game. Dukes. Number 23 with the basketball, Chandler Johnson. He's into the ball game now. Boom will drive it to the basket, a reach in foul by Hill. Oh, they're not going to call a foul. They just said it went out. So Substitution checking in for the Blue Devils. Smith will check out. And number one will check in, that is Trey McKinney. And another foul, this one against the Cardinals, Rooker. Free throw is up and good. He'll have another one coming. That'll make it 35 to 22. McKinney shooting free throws. Seven team fouls against the Cardinals, two against the Boomer Blue Devils, and that free throw is good. And we got a whistle and a foul against Boomer. Belmont with the basketball, 3.47 to go in the second quarter, trailing 36 to 22. Told you just a minute ago it was a two-point ball game, and the next thing you know it's turned out it's 14 now. Kirkendall with the basketball, the shots went cold, and Boonville got hot. Hey, hey. Boonville back on the floor, and the shot is up no good, and the tip in again no good. The rebound goes to Caleb Guy over to McKinney in the corner. McKinney's shot is up. It is no good. Hey. Y'all will have to watch the camera. I'm going to play this, okay? 
You're going to find somewhere else to play. Thank you. You don't go over there. Kiddo is getting in front of us up here. Told me he's going to, have to find him some other place to play. Belmont with a basketball, 36-22. Long shot by the Cardinals off the back of the rim, no good. Belmont trying to hand it off to each other and actually they're going to be charged with a foul, trying to get it back. Thirty-six to twenty-two, the score, and at the free throw line, thirty-seven to twenty-two, the score. Boonville leading, and Boonville Dukes with another free throw. We we'll apologize for that. Thirty-eight, twenty-two, Boonville on top. Belmont with a basketball. Don't forget Stone's Jewelry down in Ripley and Tipolo, a big sponsor of the game tonight. Miss Joanne and Teresa, we appreciate you all so much down at Stone's Jewelry. And, of course, their specialty is, of course, engagement rings and making you the customer happy. They do repairs right there in the store as well. Stone's Jewelry, big sponsor of Belmont Sports here on WRNG. There's another Billy Johnson basket. And Boonville has got hot, and the Cardinals have gone cold. 40 to 22. It was 20 to 18. We were only down by two. And now we've scored four, four points, and they've scored 20. Kirkenall is going to be fouled. That will be the uh, fourth team foul against Boonville. Grayson Stone will inbound. You got Stone and Kirkendall in the ball game. The eight O'Hill. You got Karsten Bryan out there. And Alec Hogan. Belmont girls win big tonight. There's Hogan with a long three. It's up good. Good job, Alec. Boy, we needed that one, didn't we? 40 to 25. Down by 15. And Guy, rather uh, Smith with the ball. Smith right side to Dukes. Dukes long shot. It is up. Forty-three to twenty-five. My goodness. And we got a reach-in foul. So that foul there was against McKinney. His uh, first foul, the uh, fifth team foul against Boomer. Belmont inside, they shot up no good and a foul on the floor against Boomer. Appreciate Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent, Sitch Trading Company along with Piggly Wiggly. Also Grace Long Real Estate, Sunshine Mills, H&R Block, your tax professionals on a broadcast, Red Bay Hospital. By the way, in Iuka Sitch Trading Company, they are your Branson dealer. The three R's stand for red, rugged, and reliable. That's Branson available in Iuka at Sitch Trading Company. We're down to 47 seconds to go, and Cardinals with a shot. They're holding us, and he's going to go to the basket to shoot. That'll be Nieto Hill. Appreciate Spark CPA on a broadcast. Williams Pest Control, Insulation Service, Jeff Green. Overdrive Auto Parts, the world-famous Gavin Cromines by Big star of Belmont. That is, of course, Mr. Sammy Hill. Appreciate your business. Open seven days a week. Cardinals get a free throw from Chris Nieto Hill. He's got uh, seven in the game. Kirkendall will check out of the ball game. Mason Sparks will check in for the Cardinals. Thank you, Belmont Restaurant. Wallace and Glenda Williams, local folks serving those great home meals as the free throw is good. They got the buffet Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 2, after church on Sunday. And, of course, you can order off that menu this weekend on Friday and Saturday nights from 4 to 9. If you haven't had a chance to get down to eat some of Wallace and Glenda's hometown cooking, you're missing out. Seasoned well, great food, great desserts. 
you'll enjoy your visit each and every time when you go to Belmont Restaurant, Wallace and Glenda Williams. You can't beat them, I promise you that. Tell them Jack Ivey sent you down that way, and we surely would appreciate it. Once again, the buffet Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 2, after church on Sunday. And, of course, order off the menu tonight and tomorrow night, 4 to 9. That's Friday and Saturday nights. Free throw is up. It is no good. Rebound. Karsten Bryan's got it. Karsten. And the Cardinals are going to turn it over. Moving will get it back with 30 seconds to go with the score 44 to 27. Live coverage here on the long three-point shot. Good. Brighton Smith. He's got three, six, eight, ten, about a dozen points, and it's 47 to 27, and a foul. Alec Hogan fouled in the backcourt. So Belmont will go to the line with Alec Hogan to shoot with 16 seconds to go. Today's game brought to you by Belmont, Mayor, and Alderman. What about Econo Storage, Brother Haskell Sparks in Belmont and Tishomingo, 423-8767. Josh McNatch, Circuit Clerk, along with Northeast Community College, Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, and by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Free throw from Alec Hogan is up good. River Ford back into the ball game. That'll make it 47 to 29. And they'll shoot one. And the clock it out eight seconds. No good. Dukes back to the top of the key. Smith driving in. Got the shot. No good. And that's going to be the end of the first half. 47 to 29. 47 to 29. So, uh, boy, they had a, a big, big, big second quarter. They'd be in the Boonville Blue Devils. We're going to take a break. Once again, today's game brought to you by Northeast Community College. Also, big shout out to Gina McNatch, your tax collector. David Wayne Crum, your tax assessor. Man Oil Chains, Daniel there in Golden. MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply. Explore Liquidations, a big auction Saturday night, 5 o'clock in Fulton across from Center Funeral Home. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end. Gatlin's Pharmacy, Tishomingo. Tristead Insurance in Belmont. And also Allen and Ash Harden in Harden Heating and Cooling. We'll take a break. This is Belmont in Boonville Basketball, live on WRMG. Once again, Boonville leads 20, uh, 47 to 29. 47 to 29. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy, Randall Lindsay back live in Boonville for the second half action. It's all Boonville. Belmont ended there for a while, and Boonville got hot, and it's been a Katie bar of the door since then. Boonville leads 47 to 29. 47 to 29. Dukes at the top of the key will shoot the long three. It's up no good. Kirkendall with the rebound. Kirkendall will push it up the court for the Cardinals. Left side to Carson Bryan. Carson shot way short out of bounds and it'll go to the ball club from Boomer. Thank you, Daniel Sparks, your brand new state senator, along with D and D Reynolds. You know they rent small construction equipment. Wide variety of hand tools over in Iuka. Down to Billy Johnson. Billy's got a basket there for the Boomer Blue Devils. Rooker open on the left wing, cross court all the way to Williams on the other side. Williams got a little foul trouble. He had to check out there earlier in the game. Belmont with Williams on the right side. Karsten Bryan trying to post up inside, trying to move Mr. Billy Johnson, and that's a pretty good chore in there, trying to move Johnson. Johnson a good bit bigger inside Then Karsten Bryan. Right now with 6.39 to go third quarter, Boonville leads by 20, 20, 49 to 29. Do you realize we got the area tournament coming up? They're gonna get an offensive foul against Belmont. Kirkendall is gonna be charged with a foul. And Boonville will have it with six minutes and 28 seconds to go.
Belmont to bring it back. I'm going to give you some information on this. Uh, give you an idea about when the dates are we're looking ahead as far as uh, postseason is coming up. But before I do that, if you want to enjoy some good basketball action as the ball is loose on the floor, Boonville picks it up, shot no good. Boonville running it down in the corner. Now Belmont kicks it out. It all starts at 9 o'clock on this Saturday morning. The Robertson Sportswear Classic. We, uh, I'm going to tell you what, if you were here at uh, 2 o'clock, you can watch Tupelo Chautauqua Central, Pontotoc McNary Central, Olive Branch and Hoover, South Tilla Pine Grove, Tish County, Briarcrest, Kossuth, Columbus, and Belmont in TCPS. But it all starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, right here in this Boonville gym. Three-point shot in the corner. Josh Dukes knocking down the three. 52 to 29. Kirkendall bringing it down for the Cardinals. Being guarded there by a guy. Grayson Stone driving the baseline. The ball kicked out, picked up by Brian. Now to Kirkendall. He'll shoot the long three. It's in and out, no good. Karsten Brown to put back. It was partially blocked. Wouldn't go. Boom, we got it. We got a whistle and a foul. And they're going to give that foul to Grayson Stone. East Union Boonville plays at 9 o'clock in the morning. Ingham R. Alcorn Central at 10.15. West Union Walnut at 11.30. Holly Springs and Morville plays at 12.45. But the games we're going to broadcast tomorrow will be Tish County and Briarcrest at 7 o'clock. Then we'll have Belmont and TCPS at 9.30 tomorrow night right here. And another basket for Boonville. It's 54 to 29. So we've had two uh, games not that interesting to watch. And we got a whistle and a foul, holding foul against Boonville. And Boonville will get a steal on the pass. The Cardinals, Kirkendall was trying to go to Rooker there and the ball stolen away. And Mr. Brighton Smith took that ball for a layup. Karsten Bryan with a basketball. Karsten down to Grayson Stone. Stone's open for the layup, it's up good. Don't forget Redmond heating and cooling. Patrick Brooks on a broadcast along with Mac Wilm in your Tishomingo County corner, and Billy Johnson is wide open again under. That'll make it Boonville 58 to 31 with 3.52 to go. Now another bad pass for the Cardinals. Stolen away by Boonville. Smith, top of the key. Has the ball batted away by Rooker. Over the corner, they're open for the long three. It's no good. Rooker, a nice rebound for the Cardinals. Out to Kirkendall. Kirkendall pulls up about a 15 footer up good. Good looking shot there by Avery. Avery's got seven on official here. All Boonville, they lead 58 to 33. Another basket there by Brighton Smith. 61 to 33, Boonville. Jack Ivey live here in Boonville, Mississippi. Around February the 10th uh, is going to be the uh, division tournament, and that'll be over at Northeast. Belmont boys may play on that Monday. The girls will play Tuesday. And the girls. Got that, we'll have that first round by as Billy Johnson gets another layup. Boys are gonna have a must win game, I would think, on that, uh, on that Monday. Kirkendall pulls up with a long three, it's off, no good, rebound 
Karsten Bryan got it. Karsten put it back in good. You know, uh, to get out of the division tournament, Randall, to get out of the division tournament here in Mississippi, uh, when you get out of that division tournament, you have got to win two games before you even go to the quarterfinals. And the quarterfinals this year, that game there is going to be at ICC. The semifinals will be in Jackson at the Coliseum, and the state championship game will be in God's country in Oxford at the Pavilion. I would love to be able to call a state championship game in there, wouldn't you? That'd be awesome. But uh, we'll be covering that division tournament. We need sponsors. If you'd like to help us sponsor that division tournament, you got a business or you just like to uh, maybe support your kids, your grandkids somewhere or another, let us know and say, hey, Jack Ivey, I'd like to be a sponsor of that division tournament. And we will get you on. And we need to know pretty quick. Thank you, Community Spirit Bank, Deaton Funeral Home, and Peyton Cummings on a broadcast. Karsten Bryan working a little one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to have an offensive foul. And they're going to get the Cardinals on an offensive foul there. Karsten Bryan, illegal screen. Did you realize that uh, that semifinal game will play at either 9 in the morning or 10.30 in the morning? down in Jackson if we make it to the semifinals. And the state championship game, I can tell you when we play if we if we were fortunate enough to get there. And I, you know how many ifs that is. We'd play on March the 7th at one o'clock in the afternoon at the Pavilion. I don't know when March the 7th is. I could look it up. Huh? You think it's a Friday? Fishamingo County winning tonight 58-25 over North Pontotoc. Braves move up to 18-5 in the season. 5-1 in division play. Madison Bennett had 12 points tonight. Clara Garland and Jayla Brown had 10 apiece. Boonville leads 66 to 35 with 56 seconds to go. I would assume they'll probably let that clock run here in the fourth quarter. Today's game brought to you by Wildflowers. Peyton Cummings, your chance for clerk. Deaton Funeral Home on our broadcast. Belmont driving in. Shot is up good and a foul. Good job there, but number 12, Alec Hogan getting the basket. He'll go to the line to shoot. I don't know where I can trust you on that calendar day tonight. March the 7th is a Saturday. That'd be, that'd be awesome. A lot of people could go on a Saturday. Folks, we apologize. The internet not that good here tonight. And uh, of course, we've tried to bring it to you on Facebook Live. We've had it where you can listen to it as well. But like I say, we'll apologize. The internet hadn't been that well here tonight. Wish we could give you better news here on the boys. Belmont girls win big over Boomville tonight. They ran the clock a lot in the second half, especially all the fourth quarter. Belmont girls 65 to 28. The birthday girl tonight unofficially for Belmont, 3-4, uh, Six, seven, eight, nine points unofficial. Macy Walker, 18, three threes in the game for Abby Kirkenall. She got nine, uh, 13, I think. Cassie Grimes, Lyles got four. Brock got a point. Coker got five. And Belmont wins it. Big score, 65 to 28. Cardinals turn it over. And going for the layup at the buzzer. And the question, did it count? And they say the basket will count, and Avery Kirkendall is going to be charged with a foul at the buzzer. So that'll make it 68 to 38. Number two, Guy got the basket, and the free throw is good. That'll make it 69 to 38. 69 to Boonville, 38 for Belmont.
So hopefully they'll let that clock run here in the fourth quarter. As it's been a Gary Poole, I hope you get to feeling better over at Magnolia Hospital. There's Miss Geneva Ware out there tonight. Kathy Rosser, girls at Belmont One. Phil Byram, Teresa Criddle, Farron, thank y'all so much. We're about to start the fourth quarter. Boonville 69, Belmont 38. Don't forget we'll be live here on your Saturday night about seven o'clock or so with Tishomingo County and Briarcrest. Then uh, 930 we'll have Belmont. And TCPS. As of right now, the only way you're going to be able to get the game is if Facebook is working and you'll be able to listen to it live as well. Listen to it on WRMGRadio.com. We'll have that on the Belmont link. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Kirk and all the three in the corner. It's and no good. Boonville down low, he's wide open. Shot is up good. Mr. Chenault with that one. Mack uh, wears number 24. He's a six foot three sophomore. Makes it 71 to 38. We're down to 7.05 to go. The girls once again win tonight, 65-28. Tish County girls win tonight. Red Bay girls win tonight. Red Bay boys was winning uh, big. And we're now officially on WRMG Radio in Red Bay and TV 12 as well, according to the Miss Ivy back there. Hope you had a couple of big Red Bay wins down at Haleable tonight. Alec Hogan knocks down a three for Belmont. Belmont girls won big, you folks back in Red Bay, 65-28. The Belmont boys played good for a quarter and the Boonville went crazy and we went crazy the other way. Boonville leads 71 to 41 in the boys' action. Seventy-one to forty-one here. So congratulations, Red Bay boys and girls. Garrett Rooker with the ball with 6.09 to go in the game. Don't forget Valentine's Day coming up. We got your place for all your Valentine needs. And of course, with Hogan shooting a three, miles into the ball game. We're talking wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Long three up again by the Cardinals, no good. Put back, no good. Rooker got it, he'll put it up, it's good. Garrett Rooker with the basket. You can call Missy or Dustin Brandon for all your floral needs and a lot of those beautiful roses, balloons, and gifts for Valentine's. She can get you all fixed up. Kirkendall pulls down the rebound after the missed shot, but Boonville, Boonville leads 71 to 43. River Ford inside for the Cardinals. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebound. Boonville's got it. Into the ball game for them is number 23. That's Chandler Johnson bringing it down. Also into the ball game is Caleb Gaston. He's six foot four. And the shot up three point range. Chandler Johnson knocked that three. He's a six foot three senior. That'll make it 74, Boonville 43. For the Cardinals and the shot no good by 
Alec Hogan. Cardinals tried to tip that ball in, but couldn't get it to go. Chandler Johnson, another three, top of the key. No good. Kick back out. Good rebound inside there by J.D. Nanny into the ball game. Live that ball in. Number 24, his shot up no good as Max Chenault. Now the Cardinals of Belmont comes up. Belmont in red. In white is the Boomer Blue Devils. Long shot by the Cardinals and a three-pointer by Garrett Rooker. That'll make it 74 to 46. Big shout out to Belmont Pharmacy building Donna Weatherford. Boom will send it in some subs, Belmont as well. As we're at the 356 mark. You know, Med Express of Red Bay's got a brand new nurse practitioner. It's Wendy Orr. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, taking care of all your medical needs. Call them at 256-356-8907. Brand new hours. They're now open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Also, Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent on our broadcast. J.C. Weeks and the staff at Redmont Pharmacy. Milligan Ready Mix on our broadcast. And also Triple D's Bucket Service. Overnight, you can Barney Brandon and Dusty Dick. Folks, we're just biding our time. We're down to 3.43 to go. I know you're ready for this one to be over. We are too, and right now it's all Booville, 74-46. This is one of them games I know Coach John Harrison would want me to throw away the master. Belmont has got uh, number, who else is in the ball game? Max Sparks is into the ball game. Collins back in there. Three-point shot for Boomel in the corner. It's up. It's no good. Cardinals come out of there with a rebound. River forward out there. Alec Hogan. All Boomel, 74 to 46, and Boomel, long three-point shot, good. And another basket for the Blue Devils. Max Sparks, River Ford. River tries to penetrate in, lost it a little bit, now back to Mac. 77-46, long three-point shot, Cardinals up and no good. Rebound goes to Boomville, number 12. John Deaton got it. Back to the top of the key, driving down the middle of the lane, laying that one up. Caleb Gaston got that one. We're down to 2.04 to go. We'll get out of here. Don't forget, tomorrow night about 7 o'clock, we'll be live here on WRMG. It'll be Tish County Briarcrest out of Memphis. Collins will shoot the three, top of the key, no good. Then we'll have Belmont and TCPS. You know, Kasu's playing Columbus tomorrow night in between our game and Tish County. Shot up, no good, and we got a whistle and a foul. Cruz, Neato Hill into the game for the Cardinals. We'll go to the line. Cruz uh, got about eight points in the game. Free throw by Cruz is up and no good. Appreciate Hometown Pizza in Belmont. Open at 11 in the morning to 8 at night. Great salad bar. Order in. Come pick it up. Go through the drive through Or you can dine in with us. 454-0202. Ashton Rojas getting ready to check into the game for the Cardinals. Trying to pick up that other number. Seventy-nine forty-seven. We're down to a minute and thirty-one seconds to go. Cardinals got a nice block there. Sparks picked it up. They're going to get him with a double dribble. 
Checking into the game for Belmont is Caleb Carr in there. Move along the inbound, shot no good and a foul for Belmont. With the 117 to mark, clock not running, 79 to 47, Boomer. Big shout out to the Red Bay Hospital. Don't forget H&R Block. We got, of course, big star of Belmont, Mississippi, Mr. Sammy Hill. We got Brother Haskell Sparks, Eddie Cotto Storage on the broadcast, Grace Long, Real Estate, Sunshine Mills, Piggly Wiggly. I also want to thank Ronnie Cook, uh, Modern Woodman, Sid's Trading Company on our broadcast. Big shout out once again to Stone's Jewelry down in Chippewa and Ripley. Inside, wide open for the basket. Number 44 for the Cardinals got that one. Now the Cardinals have got a steal, 52 seconds to go. Driving it in, it's Cruz Nato Hell puts it up again, it's good. And he's fouled. Cruz is in double figures tonight, plus a point or two to go with it. You ready for this one to be over? And the free throw by Hill is up good. Tish County, Briarcrest tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in Belmont and TCPS. That's Chief Pillow Christian Pep. They said they wanted the Cardinals, didn't they? Well, they're going to get a chance to play them tomorrow night. Belmont a steal. Belmont for the layup. No good. Boonville blocked it. We're down to 27 seconds to go. Boonville the long three is up good. Knocking that one down was number 13, Cade White. He's a freshman. Good shot there by Cade. Right now it's Boonville 82, Belmont 52. Alec Hogan kicks it back. Cardinals will shoot the long shot. No good. And the final score is Boonville 82, Belmont 52 in boys. Once again, the Belmont girls win tonight 65 to 28. Belmont 65, Boonville 28. The Boonville boys beat the Belmont boys 82 to 52. Congratulations to Red Bay boys and girls winning over in Haleville tonight. Tish County girls win, but I don't know about the Tish County boys because they're still playing. So appreciate Denise back in controls. Randall Lindsay, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us. May God bless you. We'll see you next time for more Belmont basketball here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And good night from Boonville, Mississippi. <laughs>